Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you've been following this channel for some time, you know that I absolutely love free tools, and I've got another excellent one to share with you, and this one is absolutely delightful. All right, I'm not gonna make that pun anymore, but what we are looking at today is Agisoft Delighter. Now, this is a very purpose-built tool. This one is all about removing light from a texture. So why would you wanna do this? Well, let's say you use a tool like Meshroom, which I will show you in a minute. It's linked, I did a video on it in the past, or some other um, you know, photo acquisition software that scans real-world objects. Or you're using a texture from a real-world object taken with a camera, but then you wanna put it and light it in your own scene. The problem is that real world object is going to have lighting and shadowing applied to it. And that's what D-Lighter does. It takes the shadowing out of a textured object. So what you need first off is a texture mapped object in OBJ format. Now OBJ format or wavefront object format has been around forever. As you can see, there's other formats here as well, FBX amongst them, uh, 3DS, so on. But OBJ is about as reliable as you can get. And they also linked a couple of examples on their website, which I will show you in a second. And that is the example we are using here. Now give it a second to load. And there you go. So what we've got here is a real world scan of a real world object. And you can see what I'm talking about here. So there was a light source, probably somewhere around here from the looks of things. So you see the shadowing there and you don't want that in a texture map. And same with here, you got some uh, shadowing going on. You got some under the chin here. You got some here because it was acquired in the real world with real world lighting. But when you use it as a texture map, chances are you're not going to want that lighting detail there. And that is exactly what D-Lighter is all about. And this one is super simple to use. Basically come on in here, go to the draw tool over here and you've got a couple of options. First you can draw where the shadows are and then you can draw where the lights are. So we're going to start with the shadow. So I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to mark out, oops. Uh, we're going to mark out some of the rough area of where textures are. And if you make a bit of an oops, don't worry, there is an eraser. So you can just kind of get rid of that little bit too. And you don't have to be super precise here. You're just going to try and tell it these are areas that have shadow. So we're just going to mark that area there so we can learn. It says, okay, this is shadow. This is shadow. There's a little shadow. We got a little five o'clock shadow going on down here under the chin. We got some on the side of the head over here. Um, we got some under the leg right here. And you just kind of mark out a couple of areas where there are shadows on the scene. Now I think this is actually breakage and not shadow. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I think that's more like right here where parts of the statue have actually fallen off. Same here, I'm not sure if those are shadows or uh, the original object. So now we're gonna go show where some of the light sources are hitting. So you see here on this shoulder, down this area, there's some lighting there. Some lighting hitting here. You can definitely see some lighting on the head there. You don't have to get them all, but you just gotta kind of let it know where it can get where the light's coming from. And then once you are pretty content with your results, like this, so I've marked out some areas where shadows are, some areas where lights are, we can let it do all the rest. Now there are some more advanced options here, so we can mark some areas, extra colors. You can get into some more details down here. The instructions in the tutorial show you how to go about doing these things, how you can do things like uh, shadow scale mapping, uh, export your stuff out when you are done, and so on. But what you are probably here for is the result. So here is our before, and I'll do a quick preview. So here we can see this is just gonna go ahead and do a quick calculation of this delit version. So again, see here in the face, you got some shadow going on here. Ideally, this will all be gone. And then the idea is then you take the resulting texture map, you apply it to your world, and then when your world's lighting is there, the areas that have shadow, like the areas like right here, they will all in turn be lit and shadowed like they should be instead of by the, the pre-rendered texture map having captured the scene's lighting, it will use your actual game or render's lighting instead. So now you've created a texture map that has those shadowing effects basically removed from it. And when you, if you're happy with your preview, you can go ahead with the process. And this is going to take a bit more time. Actually, it's really quick this time. I don't know why. The last time I did this, maybe the preview makes it faster. This took um, 40 or 50 seconds on my other machine. This time it's, it's going extremely quick. So, okay, there we go. So there is all of the lighting removed. You can just click these guys to remove the masks you've made. And there you have a version of it without any of the lighting applied. So now you have a much more neutral texture that you can apply in your scene without the effects of lighting captured on it. It's a really cool tool. Again, it's got one very, very specific purpose that you're seeing here. And now that you've got and you've removed the shadowing and lighting from this surface, you could again apply this into your scene, light it like normal, and then you have your own shadowing effects as opposed to the stuff that was captured in the real world. And as you saw from what we just did, it is super 
super, super easy. You literally uh, just go ahead and uh, mark the areas you want and then click go. And then when you're done, you can go ahead, export out the model and save it in a variety of formats. And the texture, of course, will go with it. And you can bring it into your game or your render of choice. And this thing, again, is completely free. So this is from Agisoft. I will, of course, link this in the linked article down below. But you can see they're available at agisoft.com. They've also got a bit of a tutorial kind of showing you uh, what I just did. And you can see they went into even less detail with their uh, where they were marking the shadows. And you kind of come in here before, and then you've got markup, and then you've got the after effect. And we, we kind of did all that anyway. So the whole idea behind this tool is for delighting or deshading scenes that have been acquired in the real world. And it's super, super easy, but it works really well. I, my performance has been great. Here you can see again, the file I used, it is available on Sketchfab. If you want to do it yourself, just click in here, go to the original model like so, uh, log in. And then when you download it, download the original format and you're, um, you're good to go. And that's exactly what we just looked at right here. Now the installer is available. If you go back to the delighter page, you'll notice at the top, there is a link here for try it now. Clicking that will bring you here. What you want is texture delighter. And once again, it is available for 32 and 64 bit windows for Mac OS and Linux. I'm not actually sure what version you get. Oh, they get a tar zip out of that. Um, it's just sweet. So Agisoft, awesome making this tool available. Um, and uh, hopefully at least a few guys see some use for it. Now, again, it's a very specific tool. You need to have a textured model using a texture, a 3D model with a texture applied. And that texture um, is what you're ultimately removing the shading and shadowing from. But one area where this definitely is useful is if you get in here and you're using uh, photogrammetry software such as Meshroom, uh, and here what you're doing is you're scanning real world objects by sending in a ton of pictures. But again, your problem here is going to be the result, the end result of what you scanned. You can see down here at the bottom of this rock, you have all of that shadowing there in the texture map. So if you wanna use this in your game, you're gonna to wanna to clean it up. And cleaning up a texture that has been scanned from the real world is not an easy process. But also if you're interested in checking out Meshroom to see how you can scan real world objects using your camera and multiple images of that object, this is uh, Meshroom and I will link this article down below. And then when you want to go ahead and take the texture map that's generated and pull the lighting out of it so you can use your own lighting setup, that's exactly what Agisoft Delighter is for. Another thing is if you are doing uh, photo scans of like you're acquiring your texture maps via photographs. And so even if you go ahead and model out your scenes, you're going to still probably have some remnants of real world lighting or real world shadowing in your texture map that you acquired. So you can go ahead and create your 3D model using uh, whatever software you want, apply your texture maps, and then you can import them into Delighter and strip out all of that lighting information you don't necessarily want. And once again, the awesome thing here is that Agisoft made this guy available completely for free. Now heads up, I noticed this from uh, 80.lv, the website. So uh, that was my ultimate source. They're the ones that gave me the heads up on this one. And again, I do highly recommend checking it out. Uh, Agisoft, is, it's really cool stuff. And you'll notice they also do uh, photogrammatic stuff uh, as well. So uh, it's a really cool tool, but it is also a very, very niche area. Nice to see it's available for multiple platforms. And of course, it is completely free. So I do recommend if you see a use for this to definitely check it out. As you saw from this video, very, very easy to get up and going. All right, that is it. That is Agisoft Delighter, an absolutely delightful piece of software. Sorry, I lied. I did it again. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.